Hey, uh, Obias checking in here. So I watched the first Omen directed by Arcasia Stevenson. It's no coincidence that they decided to drop this horror joint right after Easter weekend. The film addresses a long-standing faith-related issue that people are walking away from the church because they don't believe. And in the church, Belief is power, so a cult within the film's church decided to create something for people to fear to maintain their power in society. It's revealed by Father Brennan that a powerful cult within the church believed they could call forth and control the Antichrist to bring people back to the church with fear. Within a secret chamber, Margaret finds evidence that the cult made contact with the devil himself and documented their 14 attempts to use a demonic beast that was a medium for Satan to impregnate young women. The unholy acts resulted in 12 deformed stillborns and two survivors all born on June 6th at 6 a.m. 666. According to Father Brennan, the Antichrist can only be male and Satan can only mate with its own offspring to birth a male Antichrist. The cult believed they could birth a healthy baby boy by having the devil who took on the form of a beastly jackal impregnate one of its surviving offspring to become the mother of the Antichrist. Everything comes full circle to Margaret who's been having visions of a demonic force stalking her, influencing people's behavior, and even causing final destination scenarios around her. She finds the mark of the beast with Father Brennan's cosine on her head, and they realize she was the other surviving child groomed to be the mother of the Antichrist. She was lured back to Italy by the cult, and the night she went out to the club before taking her vow and she blacked out, she was actually drugged, then assaulted by the demonic entity in a dark ritual to get her pregnant. Then she was returned back to her apartment, all without her knowing. Realizing that the Antichrist will be born on the sixth month, on the sixth day, at the sixth hour, she rushes out to abort the baby but gets into a car accident, then violently convulses as she experiences rapid pregnancy until she passes out. Later, she wakes up tied down at 6 a.m. with cult members giving her a c-section. The demonic pregnancy produced twins, a boy and a girl, and the boy is hailed as the Antichrist and sent to replace the miscarriage son of a U.S. ambassador to Rome where he will inherit their privilege and power so that he could spread his darkness which would influence people to go back to the church, a symbol of the light. We find out at the end his name is Damien. The things we do aren't always pleasant, but they are in the name of God. That was my favorite line from the film because this powerful quote really depends on which God you're serving. But overall, this was a decent horror flick. It started off kind of slow, but once it picked up, just about everything about this movie was disturbing to me. From its eerie background music, to its demonic story and jump out scares. So I'ma run it three mics. 
Y'all let me know what you thought about the first Omen in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure that you like and subscribe. I have movie related content dropping every week. So lock in with me by hitting that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to get up with y'all on the next video. All right? Ha. Holla at me. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way uptown. I came from uptown, way.